everyone, it's Matthew here, and welcome to the third build in the Skybet Championship 2018-19 project. Ashton Gate was initially the home of Bedminster FC, who merged with Bristol South End to become Bristol City in 1900. The newly formed City played their games at St John's Lane until 1904 when they finally returned home to Ashton Gate. The ground has been renovated and redeveloped on many occasions over the past century. The first revamp in 1928 delivering a new covered terrace on the southeastern side of the ground. No further changes were made until a full 30 years later in 1958 when the Williams stand, the original main stand, was added, added to the west of the ground, followed by the Dolman stand opposite in 1970, named for former chairman Harry Dolman, and finally the Atior stand in 1994, named after Bristol City legend John Attior, who is the club's all-time record appearance maker and goal scorer with 351 goals and 645 appearances. Of course, the most recent transformation of Ashton Gate has left it practically unrecognisable from its former self, when between 2014 and 2016 the Dolman stand was renovated, while the Wedlock and Williams stands were demolished and rebuilt into the current South and Lansdowne stands respectively. Following this redevelopment, which came about after relocation plans to move to Ashton Vale fell through, both Bristol City and the Bristol Bears rugby team, the stadium does also host rugby matches and has done since the 1920s, now have a modern stadium fit for the future and one they can be proud of. The stadium now has a capacity of around 27,000, with 11,000 being seated in the two-tier Lansdowne stand, named after Bristol City's majority shareholder Stephen Lansdowne, who funded the recent redevelopment. The South, Dolman and Atio stands each have 6,071, 6,143 and 4,240 respectively. Away fans are allocated to the aforementioned Atio stand, which also was the location for the player tunnel and changing rooms while the building work was carried out. The all-time attendance record at Ashton Gate is 43,335 versus Preston North End in an FA Cup 5th round tie on February 16th, 1935, while the attendance record since the redevelopment stands at 26,088 for that League Cup quarter-final tie against Manchester United on December 20th, 2017. Building work in Minecraft began on the stadium on September 30th, 2018, well, with work beginning on the Lansdowne stand and working my way around the stadium. For a while, the stadium was only built on three sides, with work on the Atio stand not commencing until a full month after the Dorman stand was, a complete, was completed. The seating for the other three stands was completed in mid-December, with work on the Atio not beginning until January, two, well, January 29th. <laughs> In an effort to prevent mistakes similar to the ones encountered with the Medeski and the University of Bolton from happening again, I made the decision not to put any exterior cladding or roofing onto the stadium until all structural work had been completed and that the entire structure had been checked. This way I could avoid having to redo certain areas and any unnecessary delays. Shortly after the update video I uploaded on January 14th, work was carried out to jack up the upper tier of the Lansdowne stand by around five blocks in some places to ensure that the roof lined up correctly and that the roof covering the south stand met the Lansdowne stand in the correct place. As was to be expected following the expl explanation I gave during the Deepdale video, this stadium has very few accessible interior areas due to the inability to gain adequate, adequate material to work from. As such, the concourses are non-existent, while the only interior areas to be completed are the executive and director's boxes in the Lansdowne stand, the player tunnel in the same stand, and the two main lounges in the southern corners, the Dolman lounges in the southeast and the Heineken lounge in the southwest. Similarly to the previous stadia in this series, the, the pitch employs the use of what I now call the Realism Lighting Rig, or RLR for short which is a grid of glowstone blocks placed beneath the pitch to allow it to be lit up at night, giving the impression that it is being lit by the floodlights. The pitch was finally finished on February 14th, along with the goals at each end. The basics of the exterior areas were gradually added as work progressed on each stand, while full work was carried out following the completion of the stadium overall on February 22nd, 2019. 
The fact that I have finished this stadium, and I'm not sure if I'm right in saying that this is the first time it has been built in Minecraft, so I will not boast about it, uh, does not mean that I will start on another stadium. Given that I have three left in this block, my plan now is to finish the Medeski, which should take a couple of weeks, before shifting my full attention to Bramall Lane and eventually to Pride Park. Anyway, I hope that I have done Bristol City and their fans justice by building Ashton Gate. Please enjoy the rest of the video, and as always, like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions you may have. Oh. <laughs> 